So you have finished making your game, but there is something missing, earning money money money. Showing ads is the best way of doing this and with the help of Unity ads this task is even simpler. Today you will learn the different ads types and how to implement them all in your game. Are you ready to start earning money by creating video games? Then let's start. Firstly, to set up Unity Ads, you are going to go to Window, General, and then Services. Where it says Ad Monetizer Game, you are going to click Off. You must select an organization, so I'm going to put Let a Corporation and Create Project ID. If you don't have an organization, you can create it from uh, this menu, so uh, you shouldn't have any problem with that. Select if this sub be primarily targeted to children under age 13. In my case, no, so I put no and save. You should see this message, project was synced successfully and now you can turn on the ads. When you click it, uh, you will have to wait a couple of seconds because Unity uh, will be importing some packages and some scripts. As this is a test project, you should always enable test mode. But then if you export this game to any platform, of course, to that build, you should disable this option. But for now, of course, let's enable this. Then you can also click where it says dashboard. You will sign in with your Unity account. And now uh, you are going to go to the monetization ads uh, part. Then click send mediation uh, partner. And here you select if you are planning to use mediation or uh, if your only plan is to use Unity Ads. In our case, we are not going to use mediation, that's why I'm going to only select I only plan to use Unity Ads and press then OK. And here we have the dashboard of the ad units. We also have these IDs for Android and iOS. If we go to edit, then project settings in uh, the services ads window, we can see that in our game IDs we have both numbers uh, completed and they are the same as we have here in the website. We'll need to create our ads manager with this game object and script. We will create, initialize and everything related to ads. So let's just create a new empty game object, name it uh, for example ads manager and then uh, here we're going to attach a new script, call it uh, with the same name ads manager and then I'm going to op the, open this script up. Here it's important to import uh, the unity engine.advertisement because with this we are going to be able to actually manage advertisements. Then we are going to need two variables, one private string variable of our app ID and then we are also going to need a private bool variable uh, that's going to be called test mode for our variable of app ID. We are going to fill that variable up with either this game ID or this other game ID depending on the platform you want to export your game. In my case, I'm going to copy the Android ID and then I will paste it right here, obviously as, an, as a string. And then the test mode, I'm going to put it in true because this is a test project. In order to initialize our ads, we're going to call the start function. And then here we're going to call advertisement. This is the advertisement class and then initialize. We are going to put our app ID, app ID. And then we will also need the test mode we defined it before and also a listener that's going to be this class. Now, if we play the game, we shouldn't see any error or anything in the console. If so, everything is working fine. The first type of ad I'm going to be adding is the banner ad. This is basically a banner ad. It's an ad which is put in the top or bottom part of the game and it's always displayed there. Probably you would like to create the banner as soon as the game launches so this would be in the start function. I'm going to call a function that we haven't created yet, show banner and then I'm going to actually create this function right here, show banner, okay, 
private void. So the first thing we're going to do is to write advertisement dot banner dot load. There we will need to fill out with our add unit of banner in this case for Android. So you could use this ID Unity Hall Creator, or if you want to create your unique ID, you're going to click Add Add Unit. You are going to put the name, for example, Banner for Android. And as you can see, the Add Unit ID is generated. You will select the platform, in this case Android. The Add Format is a banner, and you click Create, and then you have here this uh, Banner for Android ID. I'm going to use it. So here in the load, I'm going to paste that ID. Something that it's maybe useful is to create some strings variable to not be always putting the whole name and avoid errors. I'm going to create a new private string and I'm going to put um, banner add unit. And here I'm going to put this name. Okay. And then I'm going to put just the variable I have created, banner add unit. What we have to do next is to check if the uh, banner is actually loaded. So if it's loaded, we're going to do something. And if not, we're going to do other thing. If the banner is successfully loaded, we're going to call advertisement dot banner dot show. And again, we are going to need the add unit, in this case, banner add unit. If the banner is not loaded, we are going to call the coroutine or go I'm going to create right now. E enumerator, enume, enumerator. And in this case, I'm going to call it, for example, repeat show banner. And then inside here, I'm going to put yield return new wait four seconds and you're going to put an amount of seconds you want this function to be called in this case one second is all right so what we want to do in this um coroutine is to actually load the advertisement again so this will be advertisement dot banner dot load banner at unit as you can see, this is the exact same line of code we put at the beginning of our function. And then you are going to call the show banner function again. I'm going to also put private here. So if our banner wasn't loaded, we are going to start this coroutine, start coroutine, and the name of our coroutine, repeat show banner. Of course, you could call this function wherever you want. In my case, I'm going to call it at the beginning of the game. I think that's the more usual uh, placing where this function should be put. And now when we play the game, you can see here, this would be your banner. By default, this banner is positioned in the top left corner of your screen. So if you would like to change the position, that default position, uh, before loading our ad, we're going to call advertisement dot banner dot position dot set position, and here we are going to call banner position dot. And you have here some options: bottom center, bottom left, etc. I believe the most used option here is bottom center, and now the banner is in our bottom center part of the screen. Then we have the rewarded ads. These are full screen ads that when you finish watching them, you receive some kind of reward, for example, reviving. Also, the player chooses to watch this ad. As usual, you can create a new ad unit, in this case, of a rewarded ad. I'm going to add an ad unit, call it um, rewarded uh, for Android. I'm going to select the Android platform and in this case, rewarded. So again, I'm going to copy this ID and create a new variable, private string rewarded, rewarded as unit, and I'm going to assign the value. Let's create our, in this case, I'm going to put the public because we're going to show this rewarded ad when we press the button. Pull the void, show rewarded ad, rewarded ad. 
um then advertisement the first thing obviously is loading our ad the placement id will be this ad unit rewarded ad unit and then we are just going to call advertisement dot show and uh, again the rewarded ad unit I'm just going to create quickly a, a very simple UI with a button to show this rewarded ad. Then I'm going to assign this rewarded ad button, the event of on click to our ads manager. And here I'm going to look for a uh, show rewarded ad. So now when we click this button, ads, this screen would be your ad unit. Everything seems to be working. However, no reward is given to the player. In order to do that, I'm going to put here a comma after the mono behavior, and here I'm going to put I Unity Ads Show Listener. You will receive an error. Well, uh, you will just press a uh, Control and the Point key of your keyboard, and then press Enter. So, a uh, Control Point Enter. This is just to implement these variables. The important one here is on Unity Ads Show Complete because uh, this this function is called when an ad is uh, completed, completed showing. I mean, so and uh, we have also here some parameters we are going to use. So if um, the placement ID is equals to our rewarded ad unit, this means that if the Unity ad that uh, has been completed showing is our rewarded ad unit and then uh, also if the show completion state is equals to unity ads show completion state dot completed this means if the user watch all of the video because we have here some options related to for example a skipped so in this case, we want to detect if it's completed. And here, uh, as this is just an example, I'm going to print user should be rewarded. In addition, when we show our rewarded ad, we have to put this because now we have a listener that it's actually this, this function. Finally, you can't uh, leave these messages as this because they will end up uh, giving uh, an error so i will just put for example here as this is a failure print fail for example then we have here on unity ads show start so here i will print start and then here uh, it's when we click the ad or something like that click also, uh, we should put another listener to the initialization because here we initialize our ad. So I'm going to add the iUnity um, ads initialization listener and I'm going to implement uh, all the new functions. If our initialization uh, has been completed, I'm going to put completed. Or if it is failed, I'm going to print initialization failed okay also you should install the latest version of uh, the ads package now we're going to try everything out uh, when we play we see this completed message we see the banner and the bottom if we click it you can see the start because a, a, an ad has just started and then if we close user should be rewarded this error here don't pay attention to it this is a basic tutorial. We are we are not going to implement callbacks on or anything like that. This this is just a basic tutorial to make ads work. The last type of ad will be the interstitial. These are the most annoying type of ads. This can be shown everywhere at any time. You can't skip them. So I'm going to duplicate this button, move it a little bit down, and then I'm going to center both. Um, both buttons i will change the name to interstitial add button and then the text will be interstitial 
Um, then in our bottom, I'm going to change this on click event. You're going to create just now. As usual, we are going to create a new add units for our interstitial. So interstitial for an Android. Of course, you can put any name you would like. Android and interstitial. You see full screen ads appearing and natural breaks in the game. Users can choose to skip these ads. Well, we could we could actually change this and make them not skip skippable because we can click in these three dots, then edit and here allow skip after five seconds but uh, we could just turn this off and you wouldn't be able to allow the uh, to skip this ad as usual i'm going to copy to clipboard the name the id i will create another variable to store this id private string uh, interstitial add unit and i'm going to put the id i will create another public void function in this case show interstitial interstitial add of course public because we want this function to be called when we press the button the interstitial add is very simple to implement just like the rewarded add so advertisement dot load and the interstitial add unit we had created before and then we are just going to show this exact same uh, add then you're going to assign this variable to the onclick event of our interstitial button, add manager and show interstitial add. Now, when we play, we can see the completed initialization message. If we click interstitial, you see the screen will be your ad unit. Everything seems to be working and we can close the ad again. We see this error of the callbacks. But I explained you before that this is a very basic tutorial just to make ads work. If you would like me to make other tutorial, maybe more complex, maybe how to make them actually work in an Android device because maybe they don't work in an Android device because we should make other steps more like using callbacks, for example. But this is just a very basic tutorial to make ads work and start to implement them. I hope this video was very helpful, if so please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I am always uploading new Unity content you might be interested in. So have a great day and see you in the next one, bye bye.